Hello, hello, good evening, Esmeralda. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Ay, que temprano vine hoy. <laughs> ah, it's almost time. Just one minute early. Puntual. Yes, you are puntual. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Ay, thank you. And how are you today? I'm... My day was tired. Oh, your day was tired? I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. Mm. And how was your weekend? Mm. I was at home watching the movies and resting. Excellent. Excellent. That sounds great. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Renberto. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Carlos, Renberto, how are you today? I am fine. Excellent. I'm happy you're fine. How was your weekend? Carlos, we can't listen to you. There are some interference there. Are you driving or something? Yes, I am driving right now. Ah, okay, then be careful, please. Okay, thanks. And Renberto, how are you today, Renberto? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, excellent. How was your weekend? Renberto, how was your weekend? Was it good? Was it great? Was it busy? Busy. Oh, it was busy. Oh, okay. You you didn't uh, relax this weekend. Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm still working. Are oh, you still at work? Okay. I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. Yeah. What time are you going to finish? At 11? At 11, <laughs> at, at midnight? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe 11, 30, more or less. Oh my God, you have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do. Okay, we are going to help you. The whole group is going to help you. Is it okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> there, there is a so great. <laughs> oh, it will be really nice. Hello, yeah. Floridalia. Good evening. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Thank you for asking me. Okay. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Very good. Very good. <laughs> oh, she enjoyed her weekend. <laughs> Yes. Hello, hello, Roxana. Hello, Janet. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Hello. Hi, bye, teacher. Excellent. How was your day? Um, so so. So so. Um, today is Monday, right? Today is Monday. We say in Spanish, ni las gallinas ponen. So it's so difficult to start the week, but anyway, we have to do it, right? And so we have to be happy because we have a work. And so we have to do it, right? Anyway, 
So let's start with today's class. The last class we were studying the simple past with the verb be. We studied was and where, which are the two forms in past of the verb to be. And today we're going to study the equation, the equations, especially the WH question or the information question. But before to start with today's topic, let me know if you have a question or a problem in the platform. Do you have any question or any problem on the platform? Any difficult exercise there? No, teacher, I finished my exam. Oh, you finished your final test. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. How was your score? 100%? Uh, yes, I have my certificate, my diploma. Oh, you can oh, you can already see your diploma. That's excellent. Congratulations. Uh, who finished too? Who did finish this part on the platform? Nobody? Nobody yet? But you can do like it. Me? Ah, Janet, congratulations then. How was your score in the final test? Do you remember? Um, 100%. Five, five. Um, um, ejercicios? O cómo fue? Ah, there were five exercises. Now, what was your score? ¿Cuál fue su puntuación final? Your final score. ¿Dónde podemos ver eso, teacher? Ajá, no, no, eso no, no, se, no aparece. Oh, yes, you can see. Um, let me show you. Just a second. I'm going to show you. Here is the platform. Then uh -huh. you can go to progress. You had course, discussion, and progress. And you can see here, this is the midterm. Acá les aparece uh -huh. el porcentaje cuando ponen el, la flechita del mouse acá, el puntero. Les aparece acá, midterm exam, 100%. Entonces acá en esta barra donde dice final, aquí les aparece su score del examen final. Si está hasta arriba, así como el midterm. Uh -huh. 100%, 100%. Y si no, así va bajando 90%, 95%. But you can see this in this part. En esta parte. Entonces, es el porcentaje, teacher. Sí, es el porcentaje que les va a aparecer acá. Oh. Bueno, yo como no lo he hecho en la plataforma, solo tengo el 59%. Este es el total. El total de su nota. Aquí está homework and midterm. And here is going to be the final test or final exam in this part. So you can see in this part, in progress. In progress, pero me da 100%. O on the midterm, no me da aquí en el teléfono para poderle ver. Ah, okay. No problem. Don't worry with that. You can check later. <laughs> You can check this information later. Uh, me dice meter exam 100%. Okay, meter exam 100%. And here, and what about the final test part? Final mm -hmm. exam is the 100% too. Ah, and then, then you got 10. Ah, okay. <laughs> Congratulations. And the, and the meter term exam is. 30% of a possible 30%. Is it the same? In the final, as it is, military exam is 30% of a possible 30%. Así yes, es. así es. Okay. El meter es el 30% de todo el curso. Entonces, acá ah. obtuvo el 30% del 30% posible. Ah, ok. Ah, pues así está. No sabía, no sabía eso. <laughs> okay, excellent then. Excellent. Okay, thank so you, you got thank 10. Saco 10 entonces en el final test. Los demás okay. también, ¿verdad? Vamos a empatar con Verónica and we are going to go up 10 in the final test when you take it. 
So you can take it as soon as you want. Puede hacerlo, ¿verdad? Tan pronto como usted quiera, you can do it. No problem. Uh, but during this week, you have to work on section number four and number five. At the end of this week, you have to have finished those sections, section four and section four. And on the weekend, you can take the final exam. We are going to finish on the, the next Monday, but you have already to complete this part. Antes del próximo lunes, usted tiene que tener completa toda la plataforma. Exercises and evaluation. So do it, please. Today is Monday, so you are going to have time. On Wednesday, it's a day off. It's a holiday. What we are going to celebrate on Wednesday? Independence. Independence Day. Yes, you are right. We are going to celebrate our Independence Day. ¿De quién nos independizamos? De los españoles. Yes, right, from Spanish people. Uh, how many years are we celebrating of independence from Spanish or from Spain? 155 years? No. Mm. Yes. Okay, 200. 200. Uh, 200. Ah, sí, es el bicentenario. Yes. <laughs> es verdad. Es el bicentenario de nuestra independencia. Ok. Nice. So we are going to, we are not going to have classes on the next Wednesday. Vamos a descansar ese día, no vamos a tener clases, pero el jueves, yes. So we are going to have classes Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And then on Monday. El miércoles descansamos, ¿verdad? No clases para que vayan a cantar el himno nacional tranquilo sin preocuparse que se van a conectar en la noche. Vamos a ver. ¿quién se... Ya les hayamos terminado el examen, no podemos avanzar más, ¿verdad? Ya no permite, o sea, hacer nada más, ¿verdad? No, ya no. That is the end of the course. Ese es el final del curso en la plataforma. De ahí hasta el siguiente, ¿verdad? que él se inscriba nuevamente y ya le habiliten el siguiente curso. Ok. okay. Eh, ¿Alguien tenía una pregunta? Floridalia, ¿cuál es tu pregunta? Teacher, ¿el, ¿el viernes vamos a tener clases para reponer la del miércoles o no? No, we are going to have classes on Monday. Hasta el próximo lunes. So el viernes okay. también Gracias. descansamos. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No more questions. Then let's start with today's class. We are going to remember the last class today. And I'm going to show you my screen for you to see the presentation of today. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. Yes. Yes, okay. Today's topic is information question. And we are going to continue talking about simple paths with the verb to be. Just a second, please. Okay, let's start with this. Welcome to your class 13. And we're going to start with this exercise. Use was or were to complete the following sentences. Look at the first sentence. I was at the school. What is the second? Can you say me what is the correct sentence in number two, please? She was at the school. You was at the school. Where? Is you it were, correct? Um, you were. Okay, let's see what is the correct answer. Is you were. You were at the school. Thanks. The next one, number three. 
She was she was. She was. She was. Excellent. She was. And the next one. Oh, sorry. I gave an extra click to this and it, it was tired. Ya les ayude, ¿verdad? So <laughs> the next we where we were. We were excellent. We were. The next one, he. He was a good student. Okay. And the last one. They were good friends. Okay. They were good friends. Ten. So in the first one, I was at the school. You were at the school. She was in bed. It was tired. We were playing. He was a good student. And they were good friends. So let's see. Were you a good student? Were you a good student in school and high school? Were you a good yes, student? Yes, I was a good student. Okay, excellent. Who say, no, I wasn't. Yo me portaba mal. Nobody? No, I wasn't. <laughs> okay, Carlos is sincere, right? No, I wasn't. Yo le daba dolores de cabeza a los maestros, ¿verdad? Eh, they were good friends. Ellos fueron buenos amigos, pero ya no lo son. ¿verdad? ¿Han perdido algún buen amigo que se distanciaron? Ya no se hablan. They were good friends. And you say now, we were good friends. Yes. Yes. Bueno, Ok, cuando lo mira pasar y no le habla, usted dice, um, we were good friends. Nosotros fuimos buenos amigos, but no anymore. So, excellent. So, is it easy or difficult for you? It's easy, right? So, we use was with I, with it, with he, and con she. I was, she was, it was, he was. And then you say, you were, we were, and they were. That is just for you to remember. So look at the following sentence. I am seven years old. Can you tell me this sentence in pass? I was seven years old. Yes, that is the correct answer. Thank you, Mateo. I am seven years old. Very good. Let's see the next. You are my best friend. You were my best friend. Thank you. You were my best friend. In the next, where's the next? The cat is on a tree. The cat was mm -hmm. on a tree. Yes, that is the correct answer. The cat was on a tree. The women are angry. The woman, the woman was angry, angry. The mm. women were angry. Yes, the Because women. Because are plural. Yes, thank you. We're oh. going to use were in this case because women is plural. You are right, the women are angry. Las mujeres están enojadas. And then the past, the women were angry. Your bike is in the garage. Your bike was in the garage. Thank no, you. Where? Oh, no, your bike was in the garage. Uh -huh. Thanks, thanks a lot. You're right. Your bike was in the garage. Andrew is so shy. Andrew is so shy. Andrew was is so shy. Mm, can you please repeat the sentence? Andrew was is so shy. Uh, it's right, but you don't have to use is again. So Andrew was, was so shy. So so shy. shy. Yes, that is the correct sentence. Thank you, Janet. Excellent job. Andrew was so shy. What is the meaning of shy? Do you know that word? Timido. Yes. Timido. Timido. Were you shy when you were younger? 
And I am shy. Ah, you are shy. You are still shy. Were you shy when you were at school? At school? Were I you was shy? shy? Okay, Mateo is saying, I was shy. Then let's see the next one. The boys are very kind. The boys are very kind. The boys were very kind. Thanks, the boys were very kind. And the last one, there is a bottle on the table. There's a bottle on the table. What's the correct there sentence? Was. There, was there was a bottle on the table. There was a bottle on the table, and you can see the answer here. Uh, volunteer, please, to read this sentence. A volunteer, please. Who wants to practice today? Nobody wants to practice? Then I'm going to pick someone. So let me, me see. Teacher. Okay, thank you, Carla. I am seven years old. I was seven years old. You are my best friend. You were my best friend. Sorry, but my paro. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. He's the saying. cat. The cat is on a tree. The cat was on a tree. The woman, the women are angry. The women were angry. Your bike is in the garage. Your bike was in the garage. Andrew is so shy. Andrew was so shy. The boys are very kind. The boys were very kind. There is a bottle on the table. There was a bottle on the table. Thank you very much. That was excellent. Thank you. Any new vocabulary in these sentences? New words? No? Then let's continue then. Thank you. Now complete the sentence using wasn't or weren't in this part. So in one sentence, you have to use, uh, let's see for example, this, uh, sorry. It says, I was happy. I wasn't sad. I was happy, I wasn't sad. Yo estaba feliz, yo no estaba triste. ¿Cómo sería la siguiente? To say they were at the school. They, they were at the they school, were. they were at the mall. Uh, ok. No. Si estuvieron en la escuela, no pudieron estar en the mall. Entonces aquí sería negativo. Mm. Sería? They weren't. They weren't. Ok, they weren't. They were at the school, they weren't at the mall. And the next, the dog was or were fast? The was. Dog was, was fast. Was. Then it. In. Si el perro era, rap, era rápido, no era. It wasn't slow. It wasn't slow. Yes, the dog was fast. It wasn't slow. Number four. You was or you were you in, was Canada? in Canada? Uh, you wasn't in Canada. Mm -mm. Try again. Good try, but that isn't the correct answer. You was in Canada, you wasn't in Italy. Ah, you were, you were, so you were, you were ah, in Canada, you were in Italy. Yes, you're right. That is the correct answer. You weren't. You were in Canada, you weren't in Italy. Thanks. And the last one, my dad. My dad was or my dad were at the bedroom? My dad were. Excellent try, but that is not the answer. No, it is. It is not where. Yes. My was. dad. 
he. He was at the bedroom of my dad was at the bedroom. He. He wasn't. He wasn't at the kitchen. My dad was at the bedroom. He wasn't at the kitchen. Mi papá estaba en el dormitorio. Él no estaba en la cocina. So that is the correct answer. So let's see this exercise. Can you complete the following question, please? Were you at home yesterday? Okay, yes, that is the correct answer. Were you at home yesterday? The next. Were your car on the street? Oh, where your car or was your car? Sorry, what is happening with this thing? Um, where? Okay, let's go with this and we're going to write the answer. It's in this part. So look at this, it was, this was where? Were you at home yesterday? And the next one, your car. Where was your car on the street? Uh, was and, your car? Yes, oh. you're right. The last answer is the correct one. So was your car. Your car is a thing, so you can, it was, right? It was or was it on the street? Was your car on the street? And the next? Were the children killed? Yes, in this case, the children is plural, so we use where, where the children ill, it is ill. Estaban los niños enfermos. And the next one, the chicken, delicious. Estuvo delicioso what? el pollo? Yes, thank you. What was the chicken delicious? What? Was the chicken delicious? And the next, today when you arrive home, I write the answer here, right? Was the dinner ready? Just let me know. If. Today when you arrive home, was the dinner ready? Yes, it was or no, it wasn't. It was. Oh, yeah. The next question. Había muchas personas. So, was there or were there? What is the correct? Mm, where? Where? Yes, where? Were there a lot of people? And the next one. Claudia Lars. Was Claudia Lars a writer? Okay, what is the answer for that question? Was Claudia Lars a writer? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. A excellent. good writer. Ah, yes. She's a good one. She was a good one. Up the library. So, here is the subject. What is the correct? Where you at the library? Okay, thank you. Where you at the library? So, the first question is, where you at home yesterday? This question is for you. Were you at home yesterday? What's the answer to that question? No, it wasn't. Yes, I was. Okay, yes, I was. Oh, no, I wasn't. Carla, were you at home yesterday? Let's see. Lisette, were you at home yesterday? Yes. yes, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Thank you. Eh, puede preguntarle a Janet, please. Janet, were you at home yesterday? Lisette, ask the question. Janet, Janet, were you at home yesterday? 
Yes, I was. Janet, puede preguntarle a Verónica, please. Verónica, were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Thank you, Verónica, puede preguntarle a Carlos, please. Carlos, mi tarnetita que voy saliendo del trabajo y estoy yendo por razón de Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't know, I'm so sorry. So don't worry. No, no, no. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que le tengo que hacer? Were you at home yesterday? Ah, were you, Carlos, were you at home yesterday? Oh, yes, I was. Okay, Carlos, can you please ask to Carla the next question? Was your car on the street? Was your on the street? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Excellent. Now, can you please ask the next question? Choose someone. Choose one of your classmates and you say, where are your children ill? Janet, was your car... Uh, sorry, Janet, where are uh, the children ill? No, eh, they weren't. Ok, excellent answer. No, they weren't. Now, Janet, escoja uno de sus compañeros y pregúntenle la pregunta número cuatro. So, what's the kitchen? Mateo. Yes. Was the kitchen delicious? Yes, it was. Uh, did you say kitchen or chicken? Kitchen. Chicken. <laughs> no, okay. Chicken. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, Mateo puede preguntarle a sus compañeros, was the dinner ready today when you are right home? Um, um, ¿Qué falta? No sé si le preguntaron a Carla. Yes, as to, okay. as to Flor, Idalia, and Roxana, they are missing. Where, um, the, were there a, a lot of people? Were there a lot of people, Roxana? Oh, sorry, Roxana, were there a lot of people? Uy, no veo. Ya, se ve. Ya se ve. Ya se ve. Es de Es de ¿Were there a lot of people at the bus today? Yes, there were a lot of people. Yes, there were a lot of people. Ok, thank you. That is a long answer, but excellent. Thank you. Eh, Roxana, pregunta la siguiente a algunos de sus compañeros. ¿Was Claudia Lars a writer? Okay. Carlos William. Was Claudia Lars a writer? Yes. She was. She was. Okay, thank you. Yes, she was. Thanks. And the last one. Where did you have the library on the weekend? Where you at the library Nick, last weekend, sorry? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. That is the correct answer. Now look at this. Read it. Complete the conversation using was a word. It is a conversation between a detective and Malone. So Malone is probably a criminal. Es probablemente un criminal and she is asking some question to him. So what do you think? And the correct answer, we're going to use was or were to complete this conversation. So question number one, where you last night, Malone, is was or were in this part? Where? Where? Okay, you are right. Where were you last night, Malone? ¿Dónde estuviste la noche anterior? So the answer is... Was. Yes, I was at the movies. The next is a question. You alone 
estaba solo? Where? 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 Okay, excellent. Were you alone? And he answered, no, I. No, I. I was. Was. My... Was? No, was or wasn't in this case? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. My wife. Wasn't my wife. Was. Okay, excellent. My, wa my wife was with me. Mi esposa estaba conmigo. What is, it, what is all this about? ¿Por qué es todo esto? ¿Qué pasa? What is all this about? There. A robbery. What's the meaning of robbery? Robbery is robo. There was. Okay, excellent. There was. There was a robbery last night at the first state bank. Carlos is arriving home. There was a robbery last night at the first state bank. Then is where another, you at the bank? There is another equation. Yes, where are you at the bank in the afternoon, Malone? And he answered, yes. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. There. Where? A lot of people. Where? 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 Okay, yes, where? Where is the correct answer? I'm sorry for this. I'm going to correct later. Thank you. There were a lot of people. So what? Había muchas personas. ¿Y qué? And then it says, well, Malone, last night your card, your card what? was. Okay, your card was at the parking lot near the bank. I know, lo sé, we. Where? Where? Okay, we were at the movies watching a great movie. The cinema is near the bank. Okay, Malone, you may go home this time, but I'll be watching you. So at the end, who win? Who win in this conversation? Quien ganó al final? Malone. Tenía una cuartada, ¿verdad? He was at the cinema. Ok. Por el nombre, probablemente sí robó el banco él. So, where were you last night, Malone? I was at the movies. Were you alone? No, I wasn't. My wife was with me. What is all this about? There was a robbery last night at the First State Bank. Were you at the bank in the afternoon, Malone? Yes, I was. There were a lot of people. So what? Well, Malone, last night your car was at the parking lot near the bank. I know. We were at the movies watching a great movie. The cinema is near the bank. Okay, Malone, you may go home this time, but I'll be watching you. So thank you very much. So today we're going to study this type of questions, WH word questions, like the first one, como la primera en este ejercicio, where were you last night? Donde, donde estuviste? So this is a WH word question, where, donde, and there are some of them. WH word questions, cuáles son? Do you remember them? Se acuerdan de las WH word questions? Or oh, information question. What? Who? Excellent. Where, who. How? Okay. Where? How? What? Who? When and? When and why? So we are what? going to we are going to follow this structure to make this type of question. WH word, was or word, subject, complement. And the question mark. So look at this example. Where are you born in the US? This is a yes, no question. And these are the possible answers. Were you born in the US? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Now the information question is where were you born? Donde naciste tu? I was born in Korea. Yo nací en Korea. 
En su caso, where were you born? ¿Dónde nacieron ustedes? Where were you born? Sí, you say I was born in. I was born in San Salvador. Okay, excellent. I was born. I was born in San Salvador. Thanks. Then look at the next question. Was your brother born in 1984? Was your brother born in 1984? So yes, he was. No, he wasn't. This is the yes, no question. Now the information question is when was he born? Cuando nació él? He was born in 1985. Where are your parents born in? What is this place? Were your parents born in Inchon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. The, this is the yes, no question. Then we have the information question with what? What city were they born in? In que ciudad nacieron ellos? They were born in Seoul. Ellos nacieron in Seoul. But let's read the following example. Where were you born? I was born in China. Where did you grow up? ¿Dónde creciste? I grew up in Beijing. Yo crecí en la ciudad de Beijing, in China. So how was your first day of school? This question means how, how was? ¿Cómo fue tu primer día de escuela? I was a little nervous. Estamos un poco nervioso. Then we have, why were you nervous? Why were you nervous? Because there were many children. Porque había muchos niños. How was your first friend at the school? So who, this asked for a person, who was your first friend at the school? ¿Quién fue tu primer amigo en la escuela? His name was William. How was he like? Como era él. Um, he was so funny and friendly. He was so funny and friendly. Él era muy divertido y amigable. Now about you. Where were you born? Where were you born? Let you someone. Flor Idalia, where were you born? Repeat, please. Where were you born? Donde nació? So you, you say, I was born in. I was born in a past Salvador. Oh, I was born in El Salvador. Excellent. Now, where did you grow up? En que ciudad del Salvador creció? I grew up in. In San Salvador. <laughs> Excellent. I grew up in San Salvador. So how was your first day at the school? Do you remember that? ¿Cómo fue su primer día en la escuela? And you say, it was great. It was good. It was bad. I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember that. Okay, then let's go to the next. Who was your first friend at the school? Do you remember that? Yes. So, uh, I remember my first, eh, my first, friend. Friend, my, my first friend at the school. De hecho, sigue siendo my best friend. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay, nice. Uh, how was, uh, is he or she? She. She, how was she like? Como era ella? How was she like? Uh, she, she liked it. Like it sería, ¿verdad? No, she was. She was. Ah, perdón, she was. She was. En, en, ¿Me estamos hablando de manera física o en cuanto a sus cualidades? Oh, that is an excellent question in this case. Uh, how was she like? Es de sus cualidades. Ok. Uh, she was, is funny, is um, lovely, is, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, ¿Cómo es la palabra? Eh, sociable. 
sociable, no sé, sociable, amigable, ¿cómo sería? You can say extroverted or sociable. Ajá, extro. She was, she was extro extroverted. Yes, she was extroverted. Yes. Or... Um... <laughs> Eso, no sé cómo decirle. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot. So look at this question. Where were you born? They are asking for information for a place. Where were you born? Donde? Where did you grow up? Again, donde? For a city, la ciudad donde creció. How was your first day at the school? How? Como? Como fue su primer día en la escuela? Why? And then when you answer here, you say, I was happy. So why were you happy? Uh, because um, because the school really liked me. Porque la escuela de verdad me gustaba. Who was your first friend at the school? Who? ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién fue tu primer amigo en la escuela? And how was she like? ¿Cómo era ella? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, in the last question, uh, um, la respuesta... No tendría que ser eh, he was eh, yes. en lugar de I was. Yes, you're right. We're going to correct them. Thanks a lot. Yes, I made a mistake here and you're right. If the answer is he was. He was so funny and friendly. There you have. He was, you, he was so funny and friendly. Él era muy divertido y amigable. So, yeah, look up the next. Here we are. Now, this question are for you. Where were you born? Where were you born? What is the answer for that question? What is the answer for that question? Where were I was born in Saka. Okay, I was born in El Salvador. Thanks. When were you born? I was born on September 12. I was born on September 12. Okay, thanks. Um, in this case, when were you born? We can add the year we born. El año que nacimos. When were you born? En que año nació usted? In 1980. Okay, 1980. 19, 1992, 90 seconds. ¿Cómo sería? Okay, we are going to make a pause here and I'm going to explain this. When we are talking about years, we can say this in two ways. Yes, let me see. Okay. Now, let's see, for example, you were born in 1982. Then you have to wait to say it. Usted tiene dos maneras de decirlo. So you say, I was born in, I was born in, and you say 1,000, 1,000, 82. I was born in 1082. Yo nací en el año mil. Oh, 1900. Sorry. Yes, 900. Thanks. Ahí está. I was born in 1982. Oh. Muy largo, teacher. Esa es la manera mejor. larga. Ahora, ese mismo año, usted puede dividirlo en dos. And you say 19. You say 19. 80. 82. 82. 1982. De, ¿Cómo leeríamos entonces el siguiente número? Para alguien que nació en este año. Nineteen ninety. Okay, nineteen ninety. El siguiente. 
1980. ¿Y la manera larga cuál sería? Oh, one thousand nine hundred ninety. Okay. One thousand nine hundred ninety and one thousand nine hundred eighty. Eighty. What about this? Two thousand. Oh, two thousand. Y alguien que nació. Bueno, y. Alguien que nació en el 2000, you know, 2000, you can say that. Tenía 2000, 2000. 2000 into K2. I was born in 2000. I was born in 2006. Yeah. I was born in 2006. Bueno, ¿alguien nació en este año? How do you say this date? This year, I was born in 1965. 1965. ¿Y la manera larga sería? Mm. 1965. Okay, but it's much better to divide it. Es mejor dividirlo and to say 1965. So you have those two options to say the years. Tienes esas dos opciones para decir el año. So let's come back to the presentation. When were you born? ¿Cuándo nació? When, I was when, born in 1985. Okay, excellent. 1985. Thanks. Any other who wants to answer this question? When were you born? I was born in 1975. Okay, 1975. Thanks. Thanks. Anyone? When I were was you born? born in I was born in the 1982. 1982. Okay, I was born in 1989. So let's go with the next. How was your first day at the school? Do you remember that? It was very exciting. Okay, it was exciting things. It was very exciting. Any other who wants to answer? It was. Can you please repeat? I, I was so happy. Okay, I was so happy. Any other answer, please? How was your first day of school? I was confused. Are oh, you were confused? Uh, how was your first fight at the school? Do you remember that? How was your first fight at the school? <laughs> ¿Cómo fue su primera pelea en la escuela? Do you remember that? No peleamos, teacher, en la escuela. <laughs> <laughs> and most important, did you win? ¿Ganó usted? ¿O le ganaron? Did you win? Uh, the name. I remember. <laughs> okay. You can Creo share. Que me <laughs> <laughs> Recuerda los jalones de pelo que le pegaron ese día. Oh, okay. Wow, sí. jalones de pelo si con niños peleaba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, probably she wasn't a good student, right? <laughs> Then let's go with this. Um, who was your first friend at the school? I'm sorry, this is, who was your first friend at the school? Do you remember your first friend at the school? ¿Se acuerdan de su primer amigo? Who was? Yes, I was. Uh, she was, he was. Perdón, she was. <laughs> 
Uh, what's her name? She was eh, Maria, she was Alejandra. Her name, no, her name is Graciela. Oh, her, she was Graciela. Your yes. first friend at the school was Graciela. Excellent. Yes. Any other student remember that? Who was your first friend at the school? She well. was named um, Veronica. She was Veronica, okay. Yes. Bueno. Then let's go with the next question. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? And you say, my weekend was, was exciting. My weekend was... My um, weekend was beautiful. Okay, my weekend was beautiful. And then I have the question, why? Because, because I went shopping, because I relaxed, because I because stay at I home. Because I went to the beach. Okay, excellent. Because, because okay. I relax. Okay, because I relax, because relax. it was relaxing. So how was your weekend? Any other answer? How was your weekend? I'm sure you remember, right? It was yesterday and the day before yesterday. So how was your weekend? It was so tired. Okay, it was so tired. Why? Did you work at home too? No, I I went to exercise on Sunday. Ah, okay. I did exercise on Sunday. Okay, nice. Okay, now look at this. How much was the last thing you bought? How much was the last thing you bought? ¿Cuánto le costó la última cosa que compró? Do you remember? How much was it? How much was the last thing you bought? And you say it was $10, it was $200. It is not a thing, right? It is the price. How much was How much was it? It was $11. Okay, it was $11. Okay, do you have any question about? Tell me, tell me. It was $10. It was $10. Yes. Okay. Okay, then today we learn how to make information question using the simple pass of the verb be. So let's see. Where is it? Yes. So we are going to need a WH word. ¿Cuál es son las WH word? Did you tell me? When. And you say when. What's the other Where? one? Why. When, why. What. Where. How. What. Who. And Which. Say, which okay mm. where how which how many how many and how much how much so we have when why what where how which how many and how much what's mm. the difference what's the difference between what and which do you know the difference which is what? Which is when you have to choose. Okay, thank you. We are going to use which uh, cuando tiene opciones, ¿verdad? Let's see, for example, in the next sentence. Uh, which which was your 
favorite subject? Which was your favorite subject at the school? Which was your favorite subject at school? And then you have option, say math or English. Which was your which was your favorite subject at the school? Math or English? So you have two options there. You have to choose one. And you say, my favorite subject was math. My favorite subject was English. By the way, which was your favorite subject at the school? Math or English? ¿Cuál prefería? English. It was English. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So who was your best teacher at the school? Do you remember your best teacher? Who was your best teacher at the school? Yes, Mi Garzona. Okay, who was your best teacher at the school? Who was your best teacher? Okay, so do you have any question about today's topic? Do you have any question? No, teacher. No question? No. Yes, a second. Then, um, si no hay preguntas, pues solo recordarles lo de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, tenemos que terminar esta semana, section four and section five. En caso de que les haga falta. Y los que ya terminaron, pues, great, genial, excelente. Eh, si ya tomaron el examen final, much better, man. mucho mejor todavía. Mucho mejor todavía, ya no andan preocupados por eso, ¿verdad? Ya están tranquilos por esa parte. Y los demás, pues, los invito a que terminemos los ejercicios de la plataforma y que hagamos el examen final. Si tienen alguna pregunta de algún ejercicio que les parezca muy difícil o que necesiten explicación extra, eh, escriban en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? El número de pregunta, el número de sección, para que lo veamos durante la clase. ¿De acuerdo? Bueno, okay. no, no siento más. Thanks. Thanks a lot for your attention and your participation and also for your puntuality. Thank you. You did a great job today. Thank you very much. Y cualquier cosa, escriban en el grupo. Escriban en el grupo de WhatsApp. Cualquier duda, cualquier pregunta. You can write them. Okay. Okay. So have a good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. See you tomorrow. bye, -bye.